Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Pixie, and today we're going to be doing a thrift haul, sort of collective, lots of different kitschy pastel things that I've managed to scavenge from the thrift stores in my area. I live in a very small town, so oftentimes the thrift stores are kind of just like big sad disappointments of old, old but not like cool old stuff, just like old polos. But, um, like I said, this is a collective haul. This is a bunch of stuff that I've found over the past, like, probably two years. Because <laughs> sometimes it takes a while to find some stuff that is not lame. So, let's get her going. I always really liked, like, knits and chunky sweaters and big clunky stuff. So that is a lot of what you're gonna be seeing. And it's also fall now. It is very blatantly fall where I am. So, I don't know, whenever I think fall, I just think of thrift store sweaters. Am I the only one? I, I don't know. And I also have some like kitschy home decor knicky knack stuff. So I guess the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is what I'm wearing. It's really cute. Um, I found this like a month ago. It is a sparkly turtleneck. I really like it. It is pink. It actually fucking fits me. 90% of the time when I go to a thrift store, I just look in like all of the sections trying to find stuff. And then I end up leaving with like a really cute sweater that is extra, extra large. Um, and then I never wear it because it's like wearing a tent. But this is really cute. I like it. It's sparkly. Oh, and all of this stuff is from Value Village because that's the only thrift store I ever go to. <laughs> Another cute find that I wear all the freaking time that I've worn in some videos is this big pink thing that I treat as a jacket but is actually just like a button down shirt that is like also extra large. Um, I painted on the back of it, I painted drop out because I was Frenchy in Greece when I bought this, which was the 10th grade, so like I said, it's old as heck. This is super cute, I really like the color. It's just a big slouchy, oversized, but light thing that you can wear over stuff, so I really like that. I think it's sweet. Oh, okay, this is, this is probably my favorite thrift store find I've ever found. Um, and it is this humongous, um, super, super clunky, heavy, slightly uncomfortable, but lovely denim jacket. Uh, I found a similar big clunky denim jacket at Value Village, and then I was like, you know what, I'll just lighten it up a little bit. So I bleached it, but then I forgot about it in the bucket of bleach, so now it's like white and falling apart. So I was lucky to find this baby. I love it so much. And the reason that it is extra special is that the previous owner got really like crafty with it. So on the end here, it says Amy in like little rainbow beads with little flowers. And there's like random little like earrings that they sewed in and like this little love bug thing. I'm not sure if it was like a cool kitschy fashion star or like a seven year old girl. And tag says Amy Campbell. So Amy Campbell, if you're watching this, I have your sweater and I love it. And yeah, it's super huge. I've been wearing this all the time. I love to wear it with big buttons and stuff. Uh, usually when I get jackets, I like to do back patches and like studying and paint on it and all that crap. But I don't know, I really, I really like what Amy has done. I don't want to ruin the integrity of the Amy Campbell legacy. So, I, yeah, I'm just, yeah, this is, that's good. That's gonna stay like that. This is amazing. I wore this in my sad girl birthday party photo shoot. If you guys saw that on Tumblr or Facebook or like anywhere, cause I'm really happy with how it turned out. So I just posted it fucking everywhere. Um, this, also, Value Village, originally from Arden. I'm just gonna drop it all over the place. Um, and it's like a big furry 
pink. It, well, okay, okay. Use your words. It was originally um, not like a cardigan. It was just a big sweater. But even though it says extra small, it fits huge on me. And I thought that I could rock it, but it just makes me look like a big, sad pink marshmallow. So I just altered it turned it into a cute little cardigan and it has one of my buttons on it which I'm going to be selling in my store you know just gonna put that out there and I think it's really cute I'm really into like mixing textures and fur and knit and denim and organza and chiffon and silk and sequins and I'm all into that so this is good here is another big chunky knit this time it's mostly purple kind of it's it's like an uncomfortable mix between pink and purple to the point where it doesn't really go with anything but i like it it's chunky it's kind of old lady kitsch party i've said kitsch like 70 times in this video but i'm just really feeling the kitsch lately um it's simple you know it's it's good purple pastel old lady good that's what i want this i actually bought for my uh kyokai no kanata cosplay of mirai yes future future name um and it's cute it's like literally perfect for her i was really worried that i was gonna have to like make a sweater or buy one of the ridiculously expensive ones online for her because i was like I'm all for making cosplays, but I don't want to make a sweater. I don't want to mess with knits and biases and stuff. And it has the same little, like, collared edge, so I like it. It's comfy. And now we are moving on to some other things. I am definitely one for knickknacks and for, like, surrounding myself with spooky, cute, kitschy, nicky necky grandma party things. So, um, I got this little goose, swan, goose, a while ago. Um, geese and swans are very symbolic in my life. <laughs> um, basically just, this is like really disgusting, but um, whenever I call Tristan a silly goose, he calls me like a swan. Because, I don't know, I guess, for us, swan and geese are on, like, the same... <laughs> swan and geese are opposites, apparently, in our world. Anyway, so I saw this, and I was like, she's a sweet little goose. And then I, I glued this little pink gingham bow on her head. So she's sweet. She stays with me. I love her. This I got quite a while ago. I love it. I think it is so creepy and kitschy and good it is literally just like a blue weirdly light like styrofoam bunny i don't even know um also covered in cat hair please excuse and he has the little like beady red eyes i don't know i just i love him i love him he keeps moving around in my room because i can't decide where to put him but he's just he's gonna have a home this next thing is really really cute i got this recently as well um, I actually went on a journey, an eBay journey, a while ago, desperately trying to find a little carousel, like a little mini working carousel, um, because my Nana gave one to me and it was beautiful, and now we can't find it, and it's really heart-wrenching, but I found this little tiny little carousel horse, Pegasus, and I think they're really sweet. This is like so good very me 10 stars kind of falling apart but aren't we all and the last three things i'm gonna put together because they're all ponies um i collect gen 3 ponies because i think they look really cute um i found these at valley village all in a little sad bag together all smushed together um and i actually like went through a phase of trying to revive old toys 
so I gave them like a proper bath and I scrubbed off all the crayon that I could and I like combed their hair and I trimmed it and I was just this was like last year and I was like these ponies are going to feel good about themselves and they're gonna have a good home so this is star something I know this is desert rose because she has sparkly hair and a sparkly rose and she's my favorite um so one of them is like star catcher something about a spark I'm a bad pony mom but I think they're really sweet these are the only ones I have from value village um, I have a few others that I got from a convention but these are my happy thrift store ponies this actually I lied I did not get this from value village this is from garment district I don't know if that's a chain or not but um yeah this originally was not pink pretty obviously um if this was pink originally i would scream oh my god you can see my tied up what's in it dusty things uh ice cream earrings lots of stuff a broken angelic pretty ring anyone want it i'll give it to you for free and i'm also a little bit of an impulse doll buyer i just think they're so cool and slightly creepy and again kitschy which i'm gonna say for the 79th time today every single time we go into value village there's like 20 more of these beautiful dolls on for like 5.99 in their boxes and i'm like whose grandma is purging her attic because i just love them i have a few others but these are my favorites um i redid her face and it looks terrible i'm so sorry um her face is fine i just i think they're really cute i used to collect them when i was really into lolita and i was like super into that because their dresses are cute and now i just like them because they're spooky and cute even though her shoe sole is coming off i'm so sorry I kind of want to like take their faces and limbs and use them for jewelry but I also really don't want to do that because then I feel like I would go to hell. I'm already going to hell. Who are we kidding? Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I had a lot of fun. This was like a pretty chill easy video because I know you guys love hauls and I know I love hauls but hauls require going out and buying like at least $150 worth of stuff most of the time, which we can't always do. So this was nice, nice accumulation of thrift items. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye.